person 99 so get ready for a disney princess uh collage so um i asked for a title of your reading and they said that she needs to know so your energy manifests um onto the rainbow road and basically it manifests into this big apple tree and i get that this is you um, and at first I see this apple tree and it has all these delicious like red apples hanging from all these these branches and I and then I begin to see all of these people um, one by one kind of walking up from all different angles um, and they walk up and they they grab one of your apples and then they you know they like one hand's in a pocket one hand's holding an apple and they turn around back to the tree and they start walking away and they're eating these apples that that are on your tree and um and then so i see this happening you know multiple different times with so many people and um and basically then after enough people have kind of come then i see this kind of like um it's almost like things slow down and and the apples kind of fall out of people's hands and I get this flash to like Snow White where the Wicked Witch gives the apple and I get this sense that it's like a poisoned apple putting people into this like deep sleep. I feel like there's something not right with the apple. And so apple can always represent um for for me it represents wisdom um but also like it's that whole adam and eve thing right so the um eating from the the tree of knowledge type of thing or the for, the forbidden fruit um and so so from here then we flash <laughs> flash into uh sleeping beauty and i see um from the newest version of maleficent the angelina jolie version out of the tree the tree like made manifests into Angelina Jolie who plays Maleficent and I see in this is still you and your energy and I see you like walking with intense purpose like almost like stomping marching and you're walking in this straight line and you have this kind of scowl on your face and in your cloak the like black cloak is kind of like flowing behind you and you begin to raise your arms and you're walking towards this edge of the cliff and um away from all the people who have fallen on the ground and now you're walking back towards the the people front towards this like cliff and as you get to the edge of the cliff, your hands go above you, and I start to hear um, the the music from the original Sleeping Beauty, that really haunting music that's like really beautiful. And you clap your hands together. Now you turn into the cartoon version of Melis Maleficent, and um, you turn into this green orb of light. And your hands clap together, and you become that green ball, that green orb of light. And um, and y this light kind of creates this heavy green, thick mist that feels wrong in a way that feels heavy it feels dense and this green light then becomes this um like I can't see it but I know this is what it's uh, getting me to feel is like a lighthouse like I can't see any base to it but I see this green light that's moving around with a light streaming out of only one side and it keeps making like the circles around this edge of the cliff in this land so it keeps m rotating in kind of a clockwise fashion and um and through the green mist the the light the this kind of like lighter green light is pouring through it and um and so i'm i'm getting that there's this um like conscious watching out or looking out and i get that there's this almost um it's like a it's like a protection, but not in a good way. It's almost like a defensive, um, you're looking for something, you're searching for something, um, and and it feels, it feels, it feels wrong. It feels um, feels negative is what it feels. It feels like you're you're defending in a in a negative way, and um, and so then <laughs> then I get. Um, and I see the moonlight kind of up and I feel like there's water kind of crashing on the edge of this cliff that you're protecting. Um, and so I now hear when the, the, okay, so wait, first, um, then the, the light, um, I feel like something's like kind of coming, like, oh, if it's a ship or something. And so you transition from this green orb of light that's searching now and you turn into this like flying kind of bat type of a thing and you go up towards the moon and now you use your your body to create this blackness that kind of covers the moon so now I hear 
Ursula's voice um, talk. And I, in, instead of when the sun sets on the third day, it, she says when the moon sets on the third day. And I keep hearing it um, over and over. When the moon sets on the third day. When the moon sets on the third day. And, um, and this blackness kind of takes over. And I feel like whatever was coming into the picture has been kind of like. Not distracted, but um, like the whatever trap you were you had was set, and it and now it was like in full action, and so um, then this uh, this bat or whatever it is, it's covering the moon. It kind of like falls into the ocean, and I get the whole Ursula thing, and so I kind of see this like Ursula character come out of the ocean, and she transforms into that that girl that she. If you don't know Disney movies, I'm sorry, but she transforms into that. Um, female figure that she tries to trick the prince with and so I see her now in this female figure holding kind of like that shell around her neck and I keep saying when the moon sets on the third day and um, she turns her back to the entire situation the where the apple tree was where all the fallen people were where the cliff was and the lighthouse she's at the edge of this orb or this bubble and it's like her back is to everything and this is still you this is still your energy and um, remember the title is she needs to know and um, as you walk through this kind of transparent bubble I get that you're kind of like pulled out to the other side and now you're you turn and flip and as soon as you pull out of this bubble or out of this world um it's like the energy that you take with you the world completely changes around you and now you flip around and you're looking almost as if it's like a um a snow globe right so you're like now looking in at the the world that you had just left and everything now turns to like um, healthy landscape, green, like rolling hills. You can see the apple tree. All the people that were falling around the apple tree now have life. They're all kind of up and hugging each other. And the the lighthouse is light and bright and it's a sun and not a moon. And there's like blue waves crashing and it's like a good feeling. So as soon as this energy of this energy that you had departs or detaches from this situation it's like everything regains life and balance it feels like and so I see you now as this this more innocent version this innocent girl kind of version that's still that like when Ursula changes from the wicked witch to like that that girl so I see you as that girl and now you're looking back in this orb and you're tracing and this is very Wiccan to me. So you're tracing this door frame and around the door you trace these stars. So all, and so I'm getting like Stargate, Stargate, Stargate is what it keeps saying. And I see all these stars lining this door and it feels very kind of like Wiccan practices. And so, um, and then I see like a wand almost like activate this door or whatever that that stone blade is or whatever that they take to activate the door and and I feel like there's this um there's this locking out and I it feels to me very much so like a, a witch would cast a circle this is kind of what it's feeling like is like a witch would cast a circle to protect herself from negative energies or negative entities and it feels very much so like that like it feels like this component of you was pulled out of your world um to per almost as a as a protection um so like this denser negative energy was pulled out and now is being kind of locked out of this positive world like the negative component was pulled out and so um now you turn around and I see you making your way towards the portal for me which is the next version of of this kind of storytelling and so I see you moving towards this door jam that's a wooden frame and as you walk through it and you're really timid, kind of like um, nervous energy, kind of walking through it. And as you walk through it, I see you turn your back and you fall on this examination table like it's a doctor or, or a, almost like a morgue table would be. Um, and you lay down and you're like you're still and you move from the very base and so typically what happens here is people's energy gets read through the chakras and I can see kind of where they are in the chakras and so what happens is I see you start at the very bottom at the root chakra and I see all this red intense light and typically the chakras aren't don't present themselves um this um this simply or uh connected in chakra kind of um symbology and so the chakras actually like come out and it's like red kind of sparkling 
um, light that surrounds you and and then I see the platform this examination table move up your body on it and it's the orange of the sacral chakra and then it goes into the yellow of the solar plexus and on and on and on all the way up until the crown chakra and it's almost like you went through this complete examination and process and so now things are kind of piecing together for me and I think I get where the story's going um, because it feels very much so like you like you are on a process or if you're not on a self-actualizing process or moving through a very self-reflective time where you're entertaining um like a very big transitional shift of of kind of letting go of an old you and moving into a newer kind of upgraded version of you if you're not going through a process right now as we speak I would say you are probably being called to go through a process and so from here um then you you kind of turn around and now you're staring at your Akashic records and it feels <laughs> so excuse me for this but it feels like I get this very big castle with um with like those pointy flags that fly on the top of it again very kind of like princessy feeling and um um, and it feels like there's My Little Ponies around. And I never watched this show, but I get that there are these like My Little Ponies that are around the area or that this is their castle. And so I'm waiting. And then finally this like pony kind of comes and you jump on it and you go charging into the castle. And, um, and so as you go into the castle, it's like you're in battle and I get again, darkness and light. And so I'm, I'm thinking we're at the, my little ponies, if they don't connect with you in any other way, because it feels very innocent and very, um, very, uh, what's that word? It's, um, it's like good versus bad. Like a, my little pony to me would be like the representation of childhood innocence and good and 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 like kind of cleansed energy I'm not sure and so you're going into battle on this very very pure that's what it is like a very pure energy and so it's like I'm usually when we step into the Akashic records I can see exactly what um what's being dealt with in your in your life right now and so it feels very much so like there's this internal struggle of good versus bad or positive versus negative or higher frequency energy versus lower denser denser energy or like almost like um right brain versus ego brain that kind of a thing where it feels like there's this big shift this big transition this big um growth cycle for you happening and I get a very um um like lower body versus higher body kind of um feel and so I call down your higher self and your higher self comes down in this huge big golden figure eight starts to um, connect in the ground floor of your Akashic records and when that happens I get that there is a duality or there is a like positive and negative light and dark you know left brain and right brain um there's a big duality that's happening and usually when the golden um infinity sign comes up it's representing that there's a need to pull the the dualistic parts of yourself into a singular um acceptance point and so your higher self comes right down and lands right into that singular point in the in between the two golden orbs and so I ask what's for the greatest good for this person to know at this moment in time and your higher self tells me that it's time to make a choice um for you that that it's time to pick a path is basically what your higher self said they said you can stay on the course that you're on now or you can choose to like rewrite or or traverse a new path and create this new path and um and it felt and it's felt very much so kind of like a call to action so if you're not in the process of this what I what I would say if you're not in the process of kind of going through a very self-reflective time or analyzing your thoughts um, and you know what's serving you and what's no longer serving you or maybe people in your life you know this can be very physical or emotional or mental or spiritual or it can be all of the above um, so you know in a physical world it could be the people you surround yourself in an emotional world it could be you know the feelings and emotions and um, 
and, and how you're interacting with your life and the flow of life in a mental world. It could be, you know, the ego thoughts and judging thoughts. And actually that's something that your higher self said was um, about the thought processes and you're going to have to let go of the self judge the self-judgment and I think that is to bring things more into alignment and into harmony um within your within your being and um and so it felt very much so like a call to action from your higher self um and so um I'll send you a link with the email that I send to you but um I I actually went anybody who's um who's kind of into this world goes through a, a spiritual process right or an, a, an, a, a transcendence process or a, an enlightenment enlightenment process type of a thing and so um i i have created a workshop of um of moving through the chakras to kind of release some of the dense energy or the negative energy or the things that aren't serving you in life to kind of open up your field to become more receptive and less constricted so um if this does sound like you or resonates with you that might be something that you want want to do or entertain um so any questions don't hesitate to ask with light and love